Meatball Guys. What up, guys? This is Cheatball Guys. Back here again with another video. Today we're going to be focusing on Lawn Mowing Simulator. This game was developed by Skyhook Games and it's published by Curve Digital. This game is actually going to be exclusive to Xbox Series X and S as well as PC. I'm not too sure if they plan a PlayStation release eventually or not, but yeah, it should be releasing sometime this year in 2021, no specific release date quite yet. So yeah, as you can imagine, we're going to be creating our own lawn mowing business. I'm going to call it Chivo Yards. And then next, it appears that we get to pick our logo. I'm just going to pick one nice and fast. And then we get to customize our company owner or CEO, main employee, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to name him Chivo. He's the boss of the business. And that's about it. We got Chivo Yards, Chivo leading it, as well as a super simple logo. Now, which one do we want to start off with? I'm going to go ahead and purchase the most expensive lawnmower. I pretty much don't have any more money left. I only have like $250 uh, dollars left, but you know, you got to invest in yourself and invest in your business because it takes money to make money, you know? Now, it looks like you can do a couple different things in the career mode, such as purchase new equipment via the shop, as well as apply for loans and get loans for your business. I could imagine you would, you know, uh, use that loan to buy equipment and then you would have to pay off that loan, something like that. Now, this is our first job. The main thing to pay attention to is the length that the customer is requesting. They want the length of their grass between five and six centimeters. This is important because we have to set our blades at the right position or height uh, once we start mowing this lawn. So this is going to be our first job right here. Looks like a really nice yard to a cottage. All right, so before we go ahead and dive into our lawnmower, it says that we actually need to go investigate the yard and clear it of any objects. So it's showing me on the upper right hand corner that there are five objects located in the yard. So we need to go ahead and find all of those, make sure we clear them up so it doesn't, you know, jam up our lawnmower or anything like that. You can skip finding the objects in the yard. However, it does penalize you and take away some points in terms of the mission score or whatever you want to call it. It looks like we already found two of the five objects located in the yard and hopefully we can find the other three over here. I'm pretty sure that gnome doesn't belong there. So we'll take that. Got the good old garden gnome. Okay, so that's going to be four out of five objects. We're just missing one more. So let's see, I don't think I went over here, so let's just double check right here. Make sure there are no objects located under this tree. And there we go, we got our fifth object. So that's going to be five out of five objects and we should be able to jump into our lawnmower now. So let's go ahead and head back over to our trailer. All right, there we go. So press A to enter the vehicle or lawnmower and we need to hold X to start our engine. All right, so now that we got the engine started, what we need to do is increase the throttle. There we go. And eventually we're going to need to lower the cutting deck. You can press B to do that. And now I can go ahead and accelerate off. I haven't necessarily started the blades or changed my cut height yet. Again, we need to cut the grass anywhere between five to six centimeters. Now, there's plenty of ways that you can do this in terms of, you know, what path you take to cut the grass, things like that. I'm going to go ahead and start off with the rim of the yard, basically the edge of it, because that's the part where you need to, like, take your time the most so that you don't accidentally chop up the flowers or anything like that. Now, I went ahead and adjusted my height to five centimeters. It shows you on the lower right hand corner what height you're cutting at and it will also show you if your blades are engaged or not as you can see they're engaged i'm starting to you know cut the grass now this lawnmower does go faster than this but as i mentioned before i like to take my time on the edge just to make sure that i'm cutting all the way to the edge for one but also again not accidentally you know chopping up or cutting any of their flowers or bushes 
like right there I missed a little bit so I'll go back and get that edge because I really don't want to have to touch up the edges again now depending on what type of person you are you may be wondering why in the hell would they make a game like this and who in the hell is gonna want to play a game like this a lot of dudes don't even want to mow their own yard and more than likely a guy like that isn't going to play a game like this I think this is more so for the person that enjoys simulators you know there's simulator games for everything these days uh, whether it's you know like a farming simulator mechanic simulator cooking simulator power washing simulator you know you name it they have a simulator for it and more so I think this is just one of those random games that is oddly relaxing I think that's probably the number one reason someone would play a game like this is just to kind of maybe slow your mind down and you know focus on something simple and kind of just you know uh, pick it up and relax nothing too crazy going on here nice and chill but you know um, that may be the downside for a lot of people this may be way too simple redundant and tedious for a lot of people but that's what mowing a lawn is about you know it is a bit tedious but you gotta make sure that you cut all of the grass so you know this may be a game that you enjoy you know at first and then after a while you're just like yeah maybe I don't want to finish this yard and personally I thought it was cool all the way up until I finished this yard I still would you know be interested in possibly playing this game more but I can imagine you know this game eventually getting pretty boring um, if I'm being honest with you but um, ultimately again I think that it's more so for people to you know pick it up randomly and kind of just have something to uh, really just chill out and play to something nice and simple where you don't need you know too much mind power maybe you had a long day at work or something like that and you just want to play something super simple and the same goes for people interested in watching the game really I can imagine some people are going to start streaming the game and you would think what type of person would want to watch someone play a game about mowing a lawn and who knows people watch you know short clips on the internet of all sorts of things like especially like random videos like power washing videos and things like that you gotta know what I'm talking about like those you know random viral videos that are oddly satisfying for instance they have like power washing ones you know where things are really dirty they power wash them and then they end up looking really clean and for some reason it ends up going viral because it's an oddly satisfying video and that feeling right there is what I'm talking about I think this game gives you that feeling or that essence of just watching something or playing something oddly satisfying that maybe shouldn't be satisfying for instance they actually ended up making a power wash simulator because you know there's a lot of people that randomly watch you know super random power wash videos or whatever it is just oddly satisfying viral videos and um, I think that is going to basically be the reason people play a game like this is because it may be oddly satisfying for you to play or watch who knows why it's oddly satisfying for you to watch someone mow a lawn but you know there's games for everything these days so anyhow I went ahead and I did a full lap in this yard so I'm going to go ahead and bring my blades up so I don't scrape them on uh, these tiles right here or whatever you want to call them basically the hard ground and we're going to line ourselves up for another lap I'm trying to make sure I get it all the way to the edge so I literally don't miss a blade of grass and there we go lowered it back to five centimeters engaged my blades and we're on for another lap and I'm pretty much just gonna keep doing all of these laps until we complete the full yard and that's how I went about mowing this lawn I mean you can do one section at a time you could do it completely randomly completely messy you don't have to do it in a perfect path like I'm doing I'm just starting off with the lap at the edge and then doing the edge again and pretty much trimming it all the way down to the center and if you haven't noticed yet you have a speedometer on the lower right hand corner as you can see I'm going much faster than the previous lap and that's just because again I was going you know extra slow just to make sure I got it all the way to the edge I wasn't missing any plates of grass nor was I cutting anything I wasn't supposed to maybe like some flowers or some bushes things like that so I'm gonna go ahead and speed it up a little bit and I'm not talking about via video editing I'm talking about just stepping on the gas as you can see I pretty much double my speed compared to my first lap so you know these next laps should be much faster in terms of you know getting all the way from the beginning to the end I'm pretty much already halfway there now I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna touch up some spots 
for instance, those entrances right there, um, they have some grass uh, in between them. There's an entrance right here to the left, and then there's an entrance right about here to the left. So I'm going to cut those last. That's just basically some details at the end that I need to make sure I mop up or mow up, I guess. So yeah, I'm already almost done with this second lap, so we're pretty much just going to do the same thing, rinse and repeat that. Um, once I get to the very edge, I'm going to uh, disengage my blades, put them back up, and I'm going to go back to where I started. But yeah, basically we're going to rinse and repeat this process until all of the grass is cut. It shows you your progress on the upper right hand corner of the screen. As you can see, it's saying that I have cut basically 29% of the grass. Another thing I should point out is you don't necessarily want to uh, press the gas all the way down because if you do a burnout, it could leave tire marks on the yard. And the last thing you want to do is get penalized for having basically burnout marks in the yard. So you can go fast, but don't go too fast or you may leave marks, uh, tire marks in the yard. I think about, you know, in between three and four miles per hour is the perfect speed. It's enough for you to be able to handle everything, but also, you know, go fast enough where you'll be able to get a decent score by the time that we finish the yard. And after we finish a job, you're going to be judged, you know, based off of a couple things. Like as I mentioned before, whether or not you got penalized or any penalties, you may be wondering what can you get a penalty for? You can get a penalty for things like uh, maybe cutting the flowers on accident or cutting the bushes, things like that. Or maybe if you didn't pick up all of the items and you decided to skip that, you would get penalized for not picking up all of the items. Maybe for some reason you couldn't find one of the items, things like that. There's a bunch of different penalties, but you will be judged by them by the time you finish the job. And depending on how well you did the job, it's going to distinguish how much you make off of the job. But yeah, as weird as this game is, I do think it has a ton of potential. I do think actually a lot of people will be interested in playing the game just because of what I mentioned before. Some things are just oddly satisfying, you know, whether it's a viral clip or playing a random simulator game. I think some people will really enjoy playing the game, but I also think some people will, oddly enough, enjoy watching the game like on YouTube and Twitch and things like that because it could be maybe oddly satisfying seeing all of the different ways and paths different people take to cut the yards because you know ultimately everybody is different I don't think anybody is going to cut one yard the same I mean maybe some people will have similar methods but nobody's going to cut it in the same exact path so it's kind of interesting you know the different approaches you can have while playing the game um, because there's definitely going to be different styles of landscapers it's definitely going to be interesting again for you to play but also for some people to watch it just depends on your taste I mean there's gonna be those people that are like why in the hell would I waste my time playing a lawn mowing game nor watching someone play a lawn mowing game but as I mentioned before there's people out there uh, for me I'm kind of in the middle I do think it's a bit of a ridiculous idea, but these days you have simulator games for pretty much every type of profession, and they appear to be really popular. Personally, I enjoy probably half of the simulator games out there. Um, they actually are really interesting, especially maybe if you know you spent your whole career in one field and you never really tried anything else, and maybe you just want to play a game and see what it would have been like to be in that profession. I totally understand why people play some of these simulators. I think some of them may even be valuable in training um, if people were really serious about approaching that profession or that career. Maybe you're interested in, you know, starting up a lawn mowing business. This, you know, could be really valuable for you. Uh, things like that, at least in terms of, you know, the other features in the game like running the business and buying the equipment and paying off your loans and managing different jobs and requests and things like that you may you know gain knowledge you didn't have before in terms of that profession especially if you're considering doing it like for instance flight simulator flight simulator is on a whole nother level it's like literally one of the best simulator games out there but that game can literally teach you how to fly if you're interested in becoming a pilot I mean it's not going to count as your hours but it's definitely going to prepare you uh, much more compared to someone that has not played flight simulator so there's a lot of value in some of these games I'm not necessarily saying that you'll be able to run a successful uh, landscaping business after playing this game but you know it would probably help you a 
a little bit compared to somebody that has not. So there's a lot of different reasons that people could play games like these. Um, I'm all for them. There's a lot of cool simulator games out there. But again, there's like pretty much one for every profession out there. But it's cool, you know? Maybe you wanted to become a surgeon in another life and you never did. So you could play Surgeon Simulator or maybe, you know, you don't have a big lawn to mow and you were interested in mowing a lawn or how to mow a lawn or something like that. And maybe that or this game, you know, scratches that itch for you, things like that. I'm serious though, you guys. You guys can actually gain real world knowledge from some of these simulator games. Some of them are definitely better than others. For instance, the Car Mechanic Simulator, it has DLC to add um, brands for real cars. So maybe you can actually work on your actual car in the game and that will show you pretty much how to do any repair that you need to in the game. Or, you know, even maybe just how to do something as simple as how to change the oil on your car. You can learn how to do that in the game. And that's pretty cool, you know? I know a lot of people should probably know how to change their oil, but you know, there's people out there that do not know and they could learn all of the basics via playing a game like Car Mechanic Simulator. Or another good example is PC Building Simulator. Recently, I built a PC and you can actually go into PC Building Simulator. They have DLC for a lot of the latest computer parts and you can literally build your PC in the game before you actually build it in real life. And that game definitely gives you some knowledge that will help in terms of building your PC. So there's a lot, a lot of cool simulators out there. You just have to find them. Um, more than likely, if you're wondering if there's a simulator for a profession, more than likely there is. Every time I hear about one of these new simulator games, it doesn't even surprise me anymore. It really doesn't. I've actually thought about starting a YouTube series on my channel, just going through and playing every single simulator game out there. Like having a series all about playing and trying out the different simulator games you know whether they're on pc playstation xbox whatever because not all of them are on xbox and if i'm going to do a series about playing all of the simulation games then i definitely need to be able to play all of the different ones on other consoles because some of the different consoles or mostly the pc have a lot of simulator games that are exclusive to it and i think those would make for really cool videos um, because a lot of these uh, simulator games are pretty ridiculous. Like, they even have games like Thief Simulator. That's literally a game about you being a thief and, like, simulating breaking into people's houses, things like that. They get pretty crazy. I I've seen ridiculous trailers for simulator games. Like, games that I'm pretty sure just didn't end up coming out or got canceled. Like, the last ridiculous one I seen was one called Riot Control. And it was like a riot officer simulator and it was basically a game about beating up protesters absolutely ridiculous of an idea um you know i'm not all for cancel culture and things like that but um i don't even know why you would go through making a game like that thinking that the internet isn't going to have a problem with it i would say release it but you know more than likely a lot of people are going to have issues with a riot officer simulator so maybe some sensitive areas that you don't want to touch but there are a lot of real world situations that people are trying to make into video games or video game scenarios for instance i just seen a trailer for a game called accident and it's basically like a paramedic simulator where you show up to a car accident scene and these people are like all mangled up messed up after getting in a car crash and you as the paramedic have to like check if they're conscious check if they're breathing you know all of that sort of stuff and it's basically like I said a paramedic simulator uh, but you are showing up to car crashes a uh, brutal car crashes at that and so yeah there's just a lot of really crazy simulator games I mean I understand why some people may want to you know experience that like maybe again you wanted to be a paramedic in another life or something like that or it fell through or maybe there was something that prevented you from doing it so yeah, you know, at least you can gain some knowledge, you know, hopefully those games actually have value and actually have real world knowledge and actually, you know, respect those professionals because, you know, I'm sure, you know, there's people that are professionals that play some of these simulator games, maybe for instance, a paramedic that played the accident game and said, you know, this is nothing like my job, like this is not a simulator. So I don't know, when you make a simulator, there's a lot that goes into it. You know, you want to make sure the internet's okay with your idea because you don't want to go get canceled. But also, you want to make sure the professionals in that profession that you're trying to simulate 
respect your idea or your game you know because I'm sure the best compliment for these developers is getting the professionals to say yeah this game is awesome this game simulates what my job is like imagine if you made a firefighter simulator and firefighters played it and said yeah this is awesome this is actually what it's like to be a firefighter you know um, I, I'm assuming that's their goal or that should be their goal every time they're making a simulator game I'm gonna ask my uh, friend that is a uh, landscaper to play this demo I'm gonna ask him what he thinks if it's accurate in terms of being a lawn mowing simulator I don't know how it wouldn't be I mean this seems pretty accurate in terms of being a lawn mowing simulator I mean you're riding a lawnmower you have to patiently mow all of the grass there's real no way to fast forward it or speed it up or anything like that um, and you know ultimately it is tedious and that's what it comes down to is it's simulating the fact that it is a tedious process but overall let's talk my opinion about the game overall I do think it's worth playing for me it was a relaxing experience oddly enough it's the only thing I can really compare it to is one of those like random viral videos that are oddly satisfying showing you like for instance like I don't even know mowing a lawn in this instance or power washing or whatever the video is you know um, it's oddly satisfying playing the game and uh, you know mowing the lawns and things like that but um, too much of anything is bad <laughs> and that's where I think that eventually you know uh, that feeling of relaxation or you know trying to chill out or whatever uh, might expire I can't imagine I would want to do this over and over again so hopefully they introduce some pretty cool yards or it you know mixes up in terms of the gameplay things like that because this was fun you know for the first level while it lasted but yeah you know, after that I'm not too sure how much fun I would have playing this game so overall I think it's a great game I think it's a great idea I think it's worth being a game in itself um, ultimately I don't think it's a waste of time um, you know whether you enjoy it or not is going to depend on whether you like simulator games uh, whether you think something like this would be relaxing um, if you're someone that's like OCD and you know likes making sure that everything is clean to the corner or everything's cut perfect or something like that I can imagine people that are OCD or you know OCD about things may like a game like this so um, overall I think it's going to come down to the price of the game I'd say if it's twenty dollars or lower it's worth the purchase and worth playing again it's going to come down to whether you enjoy simulator games things like that maybe you want a game that's very very simple that you can just pick up after work and relax and chill out and doesn't really take too much mind power again depends on what type of person you are but hopefully it's not more than 20 bucks at that price point I'd say it's worth it anything more and I'd say it's overpriced the good thing is is right now you can download the demo and try it as well I think it's only going to be up for about a week or so so make sure that you download and try it out while it's live besides that it sounds like the game is due to come out sometime this year in 2021 there's no specific launch date announced yet so we'll just have to keep an eye out for that one thing I really got to give this game is the graphics the graphics are really good especially on the PC I ran this demo on my PC as well and it looked even better so yeah that's basically how the game works after the job it shows you you know how the yard looks all cleaned up and then it gives you a breakdown of how much money you made off of that job after the penalties and things like that so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed some gameplay of lawn mowing simulator make sure you guys keep an eye out for my gameplay videos of all of the other e3 xbox game fest demos other than that i'd like to give a huge thank you to all of my patreon subscribers we just hit 16 patrons i'd like to give a special shout out to everybody in the biggest fan club including Tim G84, AOJ, Kegger101, Kana25, Michael Banksa, and Purple Rain6. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.